Chrissy, why CMR is the only man that you can have? What's the deep secret? Run down woman too much and run back a girl too much. Now me lend my bridge in now my vehicle just to go pick up something you know. And the man go halfway across the highland just to go make girl see my driving Lexus. Watch out, come look here now. But they are Freedom Street dog, I am not there. And I, no apology if I could I am broke. I can't buy no mother Rolex, I can't buy no G Shock. Yeah. <laughs> Blessed day my people so in today's video we're gonna talk about black rhino this is not popcorn and this is because popcorn recently link up with vibes cartel is me black rhino also talk about him being at freedom street and him also show popcorn and vibes cartel and pretend like him a cry and them thing there so me i show no one go on also we're gonna talk about chrissy being attacked by a woman and the woman has said chrissy didn't know about the situation we're going in the house yes it so we're gonna talk about it and also we're gonna talk about producer and not change lending out him Lexus to somebody and him Lexus end up a crash my people so we have that for talk about also I gotta talk about Wally British deny being friends with CMR and this is after she was doing a recent live and she had talked about CMR and you don't know the whole thing she also spoke about Mr. Vegas and stuff like that so may I play the video so you can hear what she have to say is it um, also I gotta talk about Bujo Bantan gets crowned as the new king of reggae Moane if I agree with that statement and since we are talking about crown or crowning Sean Paul gets crowned as the real king of dancehall and not vibes cartel but I feel like that topic is going to upset a lot of people is it also we're going to talk about the former commissioner of police Mark Shields this up Sir P in a recent interview and him also address Movado vibes cartel as well you understand also we're going to talk about Alkaline producer finally gets to purchase his dream car after all of the hard work we put out is it and also we're going to talk about popcorn looks uncomfortable around vibes cartel is what some persons are saying after the recent link up so i'm showing you the video where they might talk about and also i'm going to show you some of the comments them and also vibes cartel address the people and we did a bash him because him goes so up boom and i show support to isaac buchanan recently as it Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to talk about CMR brother denies that CMR actually do what them same do. Yes, it. So, before we're going to further into the topic, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And click the notification bell. Put it on all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is a woman rushing CMR wife Chrissy. And according to the woman, Chrissy did know exactly what was going on in her homes. You know, people. So, may I get right to that video here? But before my plate, may not agree, may not disagree agree like me just like for put that disclaimer there in my videos them because you have some people who always think that once you post a video you agree with what the person is saying no me just I post it because it, it's there and people that share them opinions on this so only in the comment section only can give full no opinions as well but listen what that woman you say and tell me if you not agree mm -hmm. you're still on and CMR don't know if you're on under a different identity also you Chrissy but I have a word to say to you, shame, shame, shame on you all. Can I ask some questions ready before I get off here? I have a couple questions I want to ask. Go, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why there was a camera in the child's room? Question one. Question two. Why did you bail him? Question three. You said you caught her man what did you do as a father question four another thing Vegas how close are you to this family question five I think I'm at question five now the last one before I get down off here why are you so defensive when it comes on to Chrissy and let me be real with you the child speaks volume out of every single thing. But this goes on to say how oh, many mothers at home know that stepdads are playing with children and all for the sake of love. And the last question I feel like I want to ask because they've been perplexing me. Chrissy, why CMR is the only man that you can have? What's the deep secret? I feel like some days our life is going on and some young off the red list. Have a nice day, Rini. God bless you. 
Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I appreciate those questions. Because one of the questions I want to ask is who put up the camera in the, in the room? Why? Why is the camera in the room? Why is it that if you see the little picnic and mother, you wouldn't call him mother? Because it's a girl, it's not a boy where you can talk to and tell him whatever, it's a girl. There's a lot of why. But I say, I mean, then come over here, go and kill, kill me, yeah, man. Yo, you know, say, we, the program is supposed to wrap up. Three. All right, my people, so that's what you have to say. And me not lie, me, I am very tempted for actually talk about how I feel if I agree or not, but I really not going to get into it. And as a matter of fact, I talk about it on my next page, Strictly Dance Hall, so make sure you follow the YouTube channel there if you don't want to hear how I feel about it. You see? But let me know if you don't agree with what she's saying or you don't feel like Christy never know or anything like that. You see? And of course, you don't know what I talk about, we don't have to talk about it or we don't have to explain to you, know? you know, don't know the situation already. You see? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is wally british and i guess you can call her a one-time friend of cmr or basically the whole carter family chrissy and everybody you understand now she did up on live recently i don't know she'll speak on the whole situation here with cmr and she also did that talk about mr vegas as well because apparently or allegedly mr vegas must they reach out to cmr for asking about the whole thing and we are spread spread about him on the internet and cmr must tell him something right so you don't know Mr. Vegas was him never him never did a bit too judgmental as it relates to CMR based upon what CMR tell him. Now some people believe that CMR talk to him, some people don't believe it, you understand? And Wally British has say, yo, you know, why CMR would have trust in a uh, Mr. Vegas that much for tell him certain things and all of that. But anyway, you know, she's also pushing CMR away and say she and him and her friends like that because people are call her out and I say, yo, you and CMR, they must friend and stuff like that. So you don't know she'll push away herself from being aligned with them. So I could get to this video. Only can hear what Wally British have to say in relation to this old CMR thing, is it? So watch this. It's really not. But, um, well, I'm not really commenting. I believe he told Vegas what Vegas said. But Joy, what would have caused him to have the conversation there with Mr. Vegas or to anybody else? Mm -hmm. What would I make him choose to have a conversation with Mr. Vegas, who is another vlogger? And then, no, if he would have choose to tell Mr. Vegas whatever side of the story, that means, in a female opinion, him and Mr. Vegas would have close and it would have come back yeah. down or to where. When he would have panic natural body, after he get bail and come out of jail, you know, he say after that, the man they get bail, he go look him out the one side and look all about the media. I see where everybody is saying, I see how oh, we trade them, I can't try to go around, whatever, whatever, I can't go around. If, 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 if it was all right, come I'm sure CMR not tell five media outlet people what happened. So that for sure you how oh, highly he would have rate Mr. Vegas. If it was all right, Mr. Vegas, I'm going to tell you this is the truth, yeah. Whether a lie or a true, we get me I say that no make no sense yeah. to me. And then no, if he even do tell him, would I mean saying so? Trust him. Is soon that face say all right, I friend this then. And then no, you see a friend would have winding up doing. Nonetheless, whether the situation is bad or not, if I ever trust him, trust him for have a conversation. It does a lead back to when me I said this whole clout. And, and the social media, it just make everything just so much different because, we don't know, while you and CMR, they're my friend. No, we are not, not ever come with that. One of the me tell you, know, all the time, my friend name is Zenora Weber. One alone, no one or two or no three, one. Zenora Weber and nothing never changed. It's just people, they might be there on them already in the past and close to them in the past, but life moves on and whatever. People, they might do them thing, me, I do for me thing them. I don't know about them, but me and them have put up at uh, uh, exchange conversation, not, 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 not at all. So, one at all, but me, I tell you a meeting, me not come as a con tell you, say, all right, see you enough to punish you when we do. See you more, I go get punished when you do, or I forget punished for whatever it is that he is doing. And when do and then it go hard to look like say you're totally innocent because obviously, obviously the girls them when they come out already when they call any name and then they close to young too. So then no it's straight up and give an impression like you really like young girls.
Yeah, my people, so that's what Wally British have to say. Big up Wally British said speed. And obviously, you can see that she doesn't want her name to be associated with them or with CMR and thing. And she has pushed for him from, you know, any association and thing, is it? But I know one time she and them did good, is it? I don't know if something happened before this or is it that she does no want to be aligned with them because of the whole situation, is it? And I think from the whole shiny situation, Remember that thing there with see my ex girl? Yeah, man, I think from them time there, Missy like Wally British and them kind of maybe Jeff apart, but I don't know my people. When you can tell me when you think about this in the comment section. And since we are talking about CMR, CMR brother recently come out and you don't know him brother say some things, right? Him say CMR is a man who might go out there and touch other girls. You understand? And when I say touch, you don't know what I mean. And we are talking about big girls, but he cannot believe that him brother really would I do something like that to a little girl. You see me? I see a lot of persons that act shocked because my brother come out and I defend him. And really and truly, I'm not shocked, you know. You know why? Because a lot of times we see where, like all police analyze some man, seeing and the man them involved in a crime, you know. And the mother, yes, come out a ball and I say, Ray, Ray. Not saying that CMR involved in anything, you know. I'm just using that as an example, you see me? So nothing really surprised me under the sun anymore, and thing and thing. Plus, I'm brother, and maybe if it was the other way around, CMR would uh, speak out on him brother's behalf or whatever it may be, you understand? But the man has a CMR, not do what they same do, you understand? So I think he's trying to say it is all a setup, you see me? He also revealed that he actually spoke to Chrissy. Yeah, my people, him speak to her, him call her directly. You understand me and say, I don't think him really did get to talk to her for long, but him ask her what that him a sip on the internet and all them thing they is it. And Chrissy response was, no, him said, what that mirror go on with Cushion? And, you know, Chrissy must say, you know, anything we sip on the internet, a data go on. You see, my people, and a man does get mad from this and say, yo, him brother now nah, go do certain things, that's it. But the only thing me can say, in life, and this is not me saying CMR do what them same do, even though police report and all of that is there. But don't swear for nobody but yourself, not even your kids, they may for swear for. And me go just left it there. So anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Black Rhino. This is not Popcorn. And Black Rhino, they make a post on him Instagram page. He did end up a delete the post and thing. I'm show you the post. But also, him did go live on Instagram. And you know, him at talk about, you know, the, the reunion. <laughs> you understand? Black Rhino, real trouble, you know. Him pretend like him a cry. And him say, well, them key party without him. And one bag of thing, him at talk about. So, I have shown you that post at first. And my mama telling you, say, him make a post. I basically shared popcorn. I know the post is more directed at popcorn because he's talking about a no big friend and all them type of things. So, I show you what I'm going to do. I don't know if you think Ryan is jealous because you don't know Cartel link up with popcorn, but Cartel no see him for a link up with Black Rhino. But anyway, um, check out that clip here, my people. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Interesting. What the problem? See it there. Is he? The boy never keep party on the invite, but The boy never keep party on the invite. What about us, class? Are you going to be on the show in December? December third first. Me nah dey have show me. I go sleep the whole day. You know them not like me over there already. Is it? I'm just wanting to live with me because me know. Say anybody with the America when I start out here, don't know if you don't know if I don't know. Where am I going? I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my girls here. I'm trying to get my kids here. Isn't me? I try to say, like, where am I going? Like, do who the America? I just want one person for my life with the America. I gotta be honest. I gotta be an honest idiot and tell me, say, who not gonna left America with no way of coming back. I've been, I've been, I've been, y'all don't see, I've been showing love right through. Fuck love. I turn that shit back with. It's E-V-O-L. Evil. 
I don't get no call. Remember when I said I broke? I can't buy food, I can't buy food, I can't even do my hair. I have a passport, but what am I going to come back on a glass boat? I don't have a freedom street, dog. I am not there. And I, no apology. If I could have been there, if they even put me on the show, I would appreciate it. But I, in reality, in reality, Bumbo Clark, I can't fly. Where may I go? Hey, Zimmy. Lord Clark, I can't call me a Jamaican. I did a Jamaican. I never did a Jamaican and I walk all over me. The blood. I am broke. I can't buy no motherfucker. Rolex, I can't buy no G Shock, I can't buy none of that shit. So, cause the dog kinda disappointed. I'ma feel like I let down the dog, but yeah, man, so black right now, you are trouble, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, people, my mama also telling us say him they'd make a post and things in, but you don't know the post is no longer on his Instagram page as him delete it or him hide it or something, you see me. Not sure if him that get bashing upon the post. I don't know my people, but him delete it. Anyway, him post up that photo there and in the caption, him say, We not big friend, rebel for life with some holy laughing emoji. But they just want to laugh with the quest, him with the question sign with the next laughing emoji. So that's our black right now, officer. Him not big friend, he is a rebel for life. Yes, it. So let me know anything about this and, you know, where anything Rhino really are run for because you don't know, and I like say, them call him name or them diss him or nothing like that. So. I don't know, but it's obvious that him and Popcorn have them on a friend. I'm not sure if they're going to ever be friends unless Vibes Cartel intervene and say, Ray, Ray, Ray. And I don't even know if Cartel have that power to tell Popcorn. Well, for though, you know, Popcorn rate him same, but remember, things and times change. Popcorn have him thing I go and set speed, even though him rate Cartel. And you don't know the thing, or the link are always dead. But you don't know, say, you know, I'm not sure if Cartel say, yo, we're going to work out things right now, you know, you know. Maybe we'll work, people. I don't know. But either way, a unity we say. And remember, Cartel and Ryan himself, they were good. So I don't know. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. And since we talk about popcorn zine, remember me telling us at the start of the video, some people, well, in the intro, I should have said, some people have said popcorn look uncomfortable. When him did link up with Vibes Cartel, is me some people feel like say, the energy is off and all of that zine. Um, I'm going to play the video scene because this particular video was posted over from Pinkwall and there's so the people them, it's like them as a popcorn look like him now, maybe him not trust cartel or whatever it may be. I don't know my people, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to also show you know, some of the comments them, more than anything the people them just, you know, I try come up with something to divide them or you know, actually see what they matter about. Watch a clip here. Son, buy me a watch. Stop watch me. Okay. Remember when Bunty killer, when my father buy Bunty do it, he killer to me. I watch him, I watch me. Yeah, but me not watch him. No, big up my father, big up Bunty, and big up Papi. When me there on the mute, and them girls, yeah, me happy. Yes. Up yourself. Copy. Copy. What is under my nose? I'm out. All right, my people. So one person left a comment saying, I don't trust Papi one bit. His vibes is weird, you see it. But somebody did respond to that comment there and say, please elaborate, you understand? Somebody say, LOL, as much as men are like Papi, but he's just aware of his surroundings. Popcorn should be wary of being around vibes cartel. Hmm. A next person say, you can see he's uncomfortable. His conscience are lick him hard because he know in his mind he betrayed the king. Somebody said, I felt the same way too. I don't trust Papi. I can feel his negative energy. Here's it. Somebody said, um, yes, the vibes is off. He looks anxious. I don't know. And I say, him don't want to be there, but Cartel promised him D-E-A-T-H already. That is serious. I would be wary too. The person they coming like somebody will listen to Sir P. Cause, you know, I remember Sir P make a video as it relates to Popcorn and Cartel. Anyway, somebody said, those who can read, read the room, something is off. Somebody said, Popcorn, just be careful. So those are some of the comments them over Pinkwall. Only can tell me if you see what they're talking about. You know, like, you feel like Popcorn, you know, did a side eye cartel. Or you feel like there was all love. You understand? And honestly, people, when I see the link up, I never did a think about nothing like this. I when I go up on Pinkwall and I see the whole barrage of comments them, 
you know, I say, all right, I'm going to talk about it and ask when you know, anything. I want to tell me in the comment section, is it? Next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel and also we're going to talk about Sean Paul. Now, popular selector Nico Fire, he recently did an interview with Shedel, Zilma people, and during that interview, a conversation about who is the real king of dancehall came up, you see me? And him spark a big war in the comment section. I'm not going around you. According to him, Sean Paul is the real king of dancehall, but upon the ground, and this same exact words, upon the ground, a vibes cartel, and, but in a females, a Sean Paul are the real king of dancehall, you understand, overall king then, Zin. and him are not the first person me hear say that still enough, Zin. because some people feel like say Sean Paul is doing stuff that vibes cartel not even near for do, you understand, so I guess people are look upon numbers and them thing there, and just because of that, I want to ask you a question. What makes somebody the king of dancehall? Is it accolades? Is it based upon popularity? Is it based upon where the people must say? Because look upon it, you know, some people that say being a man of Grammy and, you know, cartel now of Grammy and them something there. People that say a lot of things about being a man, right? But some people that say a cartel is still the king, no matter if being a man of 10 Grammys. So, you know, obviously, some people don't look upon it as accolades really make you the king or the queen of anything. You understand? But, you know, more and more anything as it relates to what Nico Fire says, Sean Paul is the real king of dancehall and not Vibes Cartel. Leave it in the comment section. And since we talk about the king title here, Bojo Bantan is now crowned as the new king of reggae. So let me get right into this article. Only can tell me if Bojo Bantan is the king of reggae to own Zine. So the article is saying, Bojo Bantan is the new king of reggae. Even promoter and PR agent Ralston Barrett recently crowned Bojo Bantan the new king of reggae. A bold statement considering Bob Marley lasting legacy in the genre. Speaking during a TikTok live on Wednesday, Barrett acknowledged Bojo enduring influence and appeal which have spanned decades. My normal probably might be a overdo it, but I think Bojo has ascended to being an Elder statements in reggae, he said, I consider him the new king of reggae music, by the way. Who are Vex? Vex Bantan, whose real name is Mark Myrie, returned to Jamaica in 2018 after, well, December 2018, after serving time in the United States, where he was greeted by fans with a hero's welcome. He wasted no time launching the Long Walk to Freedom tour in Kingston, then quickly sold out stadiums worldwide. Earlier this year, he returned to the U.S. for two back-to-back -back sold out shows at the UBS Arena in New York on July the 13th and 14th, where he was once again receive as reggae royalty by over 30,000 fans from the trip state area. Following the success of those performances, Bantan announced the Overcomer Tour, which saw him headlining arenas across seven major cities in the US and Canada, a historic feat for reggae artists. The tour set record as the highest grossing solo reggae tour of the 21st century, as reported in the Caribbean Music Report 2024. Longtime collaborator and mentor Donovan Germain, who has produced some of Bantan's most iconic work including the classic Till Shiloh offered a different perspective in an interview with World Music Views rather than focusing on titles German emphasized the importance of longevity and artistry we don't need titles in the industry we need hit songs where we can for German Bantan appeal lies in his deep catalog and the authenticity of his performances people just love him sometimes artists can't have hit song but people just love him he is controversial but people love Love him, and whenever you go on a stage, you're going to get your money's worth. While Bantan stands at the top of the reggae today, Jermaine sees potential in other artists, particularly Chronics, who represents a new generation of reggae. However, he cautioned that the level of commitment required is significant. Me think Chronics have the opportunity, but Bojo works very hard. You see him there, you have to be really committed. Chronics took a break, but you can't take a break. You have to maintain it and build the catalog ultimately someone will take your place jeremy and said and that is so true you see me because some people look upon it say chronics fall off but as it relates to bojo bantan being the new king of reggae more want to tell me in the comment section honestly more want to tell me if you don't agree or not you see because bojo do it still enough but some people still not go and say i'm the king of reggae you see it so the next thing we're going to talk about is producer now change, revealing that him lend one of him friend them, him Lexus, and him friend basically a rundown woman, and end up a mash up him Lexus, my people. And you know how now change love him Lexus already, you know, so, you know, you know, say him head hurt him. 
Um, check out the clip that we post on his Instagram page. Listen this. Big up on yourself, you know, people. I want to understand one thing. I say before I did have money, I never used to run down a man. I usually just focus on one more. You know, well, enough of them young youth have problem. They run down a man too much and run back a girl too much. Now, me lend my bridge now my vehicle just to go pick up something, you know. And the man go halfway across the highland just to go make the girl see my drive the Lexus. Watch out, come look here now. Look on the vehicle. And we are looking about half a million dollars right now for fix back the Lexus. You see it, and watch out now. You can't find not even $10 to fix back the car. You see them out here? I'll be a captain, brother. Yeah man, boy oh boy, <laughs> yo, it rough. When I go around here, it rough. That is why I know any or anybody you fill in your vehicle, you understand? Even though sometimes you have your bridging and you know, you're letting your vehicle forgot to do something for you or forgot to do something maybe you can't get for do it at the time or whatever it may be. You understand me and some people, but you know, boy, it's rough. That's all I can say. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is former Commissioner of Police Mark Shields speaking on Sir P. And also he must speak on um, Cartel, Vado and some other little things, is it? So make we actually get to this article so I understand what's going on, is it? So the article is saying, Mark Shields calls Sir P reports rubbish, talks friendship with Movado, crime in Jamaica and more. Former Deputy Commissioner of Police of Jamaica Constable Air Force Mark Shield talked about some of the things he likes and dislikes about Jamaica in his latest interview. Amongst the topics discussed were Movado, Vibes Cartel, crime, Renita Adams, Sir P and his wife Emily Shields Crook or Emily Crooks. Um, he also detailed why he lives in Jamaica and does not wish to return to the UK anytime soon. The former British law enforcer and security consultant went into much details about his time as DCP while talking to hosts, highlighting that some of his colleagues were willing to work with him while others were not because they saw him as a white foreigner. He labeled them as bad mind and prejudicial. Shields was asked about the YouTuber Sir P. He initially said he doesn't know of the name, but after being shown a picture, video he outlined that he in fact does know of the YouTuber and went on to downplay his work, labeling it as rubbish. A lot of it is rubbish. I've heard him. He also recalls the vlogger doing a video about him and Adams, which he labeled as inaccurate. As per Shields, Sir P is amongst the people online who are trying to exploit the public. I've listened to that guy and he's talking conspiracies and I'm waiting for the evidence, but it's not. It's sad that people out there actually listen to that and believe it. It's rubbish. After talking about Sir P, his wife crime fighting initiatives, she'll talk about dancehall culture and several artists, Mark she'll recall being the DCP at the heights of the Gully and Gaza war, led by Movada and Vibes Cartel. He details getting on phone calls to get Movada and Cartel together, the man who is intent on law and order that he remains good friends with Movada over the years, while alluding to Cartel being a renegade as per Mark Shields, he helped Movada to get a visa a deed that seemingly made Movado show loyalty to him with regards to dancehall influence and crime debate. She'll believe that he that the music does help to influence crime while noting that the music is also a reflection of society. So yeah, my people, that's our Mark Shields officer. Only can tell me if you not agree or not in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is one of Alkaline producer them purchasing a brand new car, my people, as it him actually purchased a 2025 X6. And the producer we were talking about go by the name Wheatley. And you know him a part of the um the I think a true ambassador group, which consists of him and Mose Javi Ambassador. I think I saw it goes in. Anyway, we'll see him go to boom and post a video here, my people.
Yeah, man. So it's a good look. You see, me see him post the caption say, finally bought my dream car, 2025 BMW X6 M60i. And him say, God plus hard work plus patience. You see, also, me see um, Javi Ambassador post a video with Wheat Day. And in the caption, him say, late nights after everybody gone sleep, yeah, they are studio mix song after song after song. You mix every 450 song from before him bus to now. Your dedication to the game as a young G is remarkable. Congrats again, broski. And him tag Wheat Day and say, only producer in the game I drive a 2025 BMW X6. Yeah, my people, so that's what's going on. You know, congratulations on, you know, your care and thing. Hard work definitely pay off. So let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel. Addressing the people and what did I bash him because you don't know him. Go out there, him go to Portland as a matter of fact for support Isaac Buchanan. Because you know Isaac Buchanan is running as it relates to being the, um, I guess you can say the MP for down at East Portland and things. You see me, I run against um what's your name Anne Marie Valls. So Cartel does address the people who oh, are bash him for show support and stuff like that. You understand what I say? So I'm gonna actually leave you know, with that video so you can hear what vibes cartel up to say. And of course you can tell more anything about where I say is it. So before I play the video, thanks for watching the video people. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember head over to my Instagram page mix up time for you it. I'm out. Yeah, good night, guys and your son. I have a pressing message. I want people to understand. Where do you are? I'm going to represent for Isaac Buchanan as a bridging. Because I know I'm running in, in, in politics thing and thing. And a lot of people take it out of proportion along political divide. And we understand that. This is Jamaica. You know what I mean? A political, politically harsh environment. But... Remember this, Vibes Cartel, first and foremost, my allegiance is to the people of Jamaica. Whether you are PNP, whether you are Labour right, Vibes Cartel allegiance is to the people of Jamaica, because Jamaica make me rich. You understand? Yes. And me and Isaac good, me and Daryl Vaz good, me and my wife, but she look like a cool lady to me. You know what I mean? So, big up Miss Vaz and thing, yeah. So, the point to me I try to make is this. Don't get the thing twisted. Me is an artist first and a businessman next. And Isaac is a friend of mine. Darrell Vaz is a friend of mine because I've known him for years. Matter of fact, I know him from like 2008, 2009. You know what I mean? So, don't get the thing twisted. I want Jamaica, me say. That if I go over this, so, the youth them are going to lift me up. And if I go over here, so, the youth them are going to lift me up. Why if he lift me up? But you know what I mean. Don't? I'll be sending my nose. I'm out.